This is John from John Hall Music and in today's video what we're going to be doing is, is looking at bends within pentatonic scales. One thing that I think is really cool, um, you know, if, you're, if your knowledge is pretty limited with soloing and improvising, but you know the blue scale or pentatonic scale, it's um, a lot of fun to put in different sorts of bends. What I was playing to coming into the video was a backing track that I made up called Slow Groovin', Groovin' Classic Rock and E. And what I was trying to demonstrate was all different sorts of bending techniques that you could do that could make a regular old pentatonic scale sound really interesting. What I mean by that is like you could bend up whole steps, you could go a note lower and bend up a half step, you could also add a lot of vibrato, you could bend two notes together so they almost create like a dissonant sound like... <laughs> Things like that, um, taking simple licks, so versus doing something like this, this might sound a little boring. Okay, now with bends and vibrato, it comes yes. to life more. You know, so there's a million different things you can do, different combinations. Um, I've seen some guys that do things I can't even figure out what they're doing. Um, but anyway, um, I just thought that would be a, a helpful lesson for you guys. Um, it might give you some ideas on how to make your... Um, solo is a little more interesting through pentatonic scales and through my backing tracks. Well, that's a good segue. I wanted you guys to subscribe, send me a video response, um, make sure you comment, and if for some reason you don't like the tune, tell me why. Um, I want to understand what you guys like and dislike about this stuff. Um, and if you want to support me, go down into the description box and I'm going to put two links there. One's going to take you to iTunes and the other one's going to take you to Amazon. Um, and I think that's it. So anyway, till next time, jam on. And